So we've come over to the Google AdWords tool, which basically allows you to look at some keywords. It gives you a hundred keywords that you can look for. And this is typically what people do when they want to find the right keyword to go in their content for their website to allow good SEO so that the search engines find them. They find them, those people get sent to your website. Simple. So we've typed in the word horse riding and it's given us examples of keywords related to horse riding and most people would go in grab themselves the top keywords go into the search engines and try and compete because they go ooh ride a horse 823 thousand results what that means is 823 searches were done in one month for the keyword horse ride someone says to themselves my goodness me I'm become a rich man trouble is you go in and try and compete for the word horse ride and your SEO for the search engines would be rubbish we have no chance whatsoever so a quick tip straight away is only show ideas closely related to my search term horse riding we've got to extend this and so we're only interested in things that actually say horse riding stables doesn't say that horse games have nothing to do what we're doing okay a question just a posh name for it that doesn't help us because we're hoping that people are going to type in a keyword that we want to go after to make money okay so there's lots of reasons why we have to do this focus in so we're just going to click that and we're going to search again and it's going to give us results that are slightly different more targeted to what we're seeing and all of a sudden we've lost your question and we're going to horse riding back horse riding horse riding places horse riding stables horse riding lessons horse riding instructors horse riding instructors classes class courses lessons schools riding okay instantly we have taken that keyword which was huge just now and meant nothing to us and then all of a sudden an extra keyword has been added and so we're going for the long tail and all of a sudden we're targeting we're focusing in on people that are interested in specific keywords these are the questions you need to give answers to and so the first thing to do is make sure we're tight then we have to find the right keyword for you to make money and so there's a search that we should be doing in here we should not be going for these high ones because obviously everybody's going for these high ones and these are the people that are never making money these are the people whose websites will never receive any kind of traffic no people will come there why because they're competing with big people who've been at this for a long time and so what we have to do is tag it in much much tighter and so that would mean for us that we would be looking for a keyword that's more relative to our specific area okay which is probably going to be somewhere between the 40,000 and probably let's go a little bit lower than that we could go as low as maybe 3,000 so all those keywords become available to us straight away and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of these keywords and show you the difference between success and not succeeding and how people make money on whatever people just sit in their house crying wasting their time making no money